Okay, as long as we get a live stream on Tuesday, um, I will be using a different film for the live stream. So I'm not gonna say what, um, we're gonna talk about it on Tuesday, but I'm pretty excited to try something different. And uh, yeah, it'll be a really interesting stream. But today we're gonna be doing 35 on the front doors and then 20% uh, over the factory on the back. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, when I'm gonna go start the car, Terry Taylor with a with a $2 super chat. Super chat wars begin. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I'm not I'm not crossing my fingers for anything, but that was that was quite the quite, quite the day last time. I totaled it up. It was $165 in super chats. You guys were insane that day. Um I <laughs> I hope Kieran had his bank account cleared <laughs> and there were no problems after that. So, uh, versatility also ordered a fusion shorty handle last night and some 30 degree blades. Cool. That's awesome. Um, I actually just got a brand new pack of 30 degree blades. These ones are my favorites. So, um, the, my other ones, I had two left and they rusted. So, yep. Let's go ahead and put on the GoPro. Da, da, da. So next week, I actually sign Thursday. We officially sign the lease for the house that I will be moving to um, with a two car garage. <laughs> Versatility says I made more on the, more on the uh, super chats than, than the vehicle itself. I actually, not quite. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about tinning. Oh, geez. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, what was it? A, it's Richie, super chatted $4. Indeed they do. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Holy shit. Like, <laughs> it's really funny because uh, it just, like, we, we get the super chat here or there. Dana Reyna's a big super chatter. Um, and like I've seen some people here and there like throwing five, 10 bucks, 20 bucks here and there. It's all been really, really, really cool and very supportive. Um, and then it just like went fucking crazy <laughs> on Tuesday. So it's just funny how that can happen out of nowhere. Um, Am I using a tint keg? No, I'm not using an official tint keg, but I am using basically the same thing. I bought these before tint kegs were out. Um, I am using tint keg uh, fittings though, and the hose. So I'm using components from tint keg. Just the actual tint itself is not a tint keg edition. So, but the, the three gallons are my favorite. Really, really good, um, really good size to take around. Diamond, Diamond with a super chat. You guys, you guys, what am I gonna do with you guys? You guys are awesome, holy shit. Again, with no message, just a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, dude, that's awesome. I, I, <laughs> I'm really speechless with some of this because I, like, this is pretty, different for the for the tint community so to see this kind of support with something like this is just is just unbelievable so thank you you know i'm really jealous of uh of a couple of the features on twitch though uh you can you can gift subs so you can like support the community as a whole um instead of just like doing super chats and stuff so i hope youtube actually bring some of those things. They do have memberships, and as soon as that's a thing, we're gonna make them super cool. But I'm not there yet. <laughs> Whoa, wait, we got a, we got a Chrysler tech in here. Uh, he said, I like looking at all the tinners complaining about the BCMs that get messed up um, from tinning 
uh, from Tinter's doing the windshield. Um, oh, oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a huge issue. Um, I actually put out a video though, because um, with a guy, I ended up with a with another tech. I ended up figuring out where the where the BCM was, um, and the reason why uh, they were getting fried. It's just the positioning and the way the water was trailing, like through a speaker grill or something. Um, but yeah, I did put out a video on that as like a PSA. But yeah, it, <laughs> that's funny. It's it's funny that it's like a notable thing um, that you that a that a Chrysler tech has noticed. That's funny. Yeah, if I was doing the windshield on this, um, I would definitely cover up the dash um, like I did in the video. So if you guys do, I should mention that, if you guys do have problems with these 2020 Rams, the BCMs, they're like right down here. I know this is dark, but it's right down in that area. Um, so you have to make sure that's all covered up. Water most likely will get to it and then freak out the truck. And if you don't know what a BCM is, Google it, because you will know what one is after you tint one of the windshields on these. Is that? Uh, what is what is the most often seen European car in America? Um, Armando asks, "How do I super chat?" There's a little icon um, right in the in the chat, a little money symbol. But uh, what is the most popular European car here? Mm. I mean, I see a lot of just a lot of foreign cars are around this area. It's just Audi. Um, and BMW and Mercedes. That's pretty much it. Here and there I get a VW, but they're not like the most, uh, they're not super common for me, but it depends on that, the area that you live in really. Every, every uh, state has its own type of popular cars. Blading tint is difficult. How do you get it started? Um, you just shift it a little bit and give it a little tongue, as weird as that sounds. <laughs> VW Passats, those things are not fun. Most VWs aren't super fun. The Golfs, um, the uh, Passats, definitely not fun. Is fifty dollars too much for a windshield strip? No, no, it's not. It's it's pretty on par with some places. Um, it's nice when you can split like a five percent roll in half. But if like if you have a twenty like a five percent or sorry, I'm talking about a twenty percent roll. No, not twenty. Twenty inch roll. So if you're using a twenty inch roll and you can't split it in half, you're using as much film as you would on a couple of doors. Um, but it's good when you can split it in half or get a 10 inch roll instead. But yeah, 50 bucks I don't think is crazy. That's about what we, ch I think that's what we charge here, to be honest. We got a, we got another super chat. We got another one. Uh, dropped Nick. Big fan uh, of you, bro. Much love. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you for supporting everything. Jeez, I have to, like, I want to scroll down here and make sure I haven't missed anything. Because already, like, this just fucking lighting up. Terry, Terry, A, hey, it's Richie, Diamond, Drop Nick. Oh, Jesus. 20, 20 Swedish Kronor? How much is that worth? What is that? Dude, thank you. What slips? What tint slip solution are you using? Good question. I get asked that so much, and I really need to make a video. This, right now, and I'm not super proud of it, but this is just regular baby shampoo that you can find at the dollar store, and I was wondering if this was similar to Johnson & Johnson, and it, it's, it's actually, like, maybe better. Um, it doesn't freeze in the winter either, I found out. So it doesn't turn to ice. It just turns like frosty looking. Um, 
but yeah, a lot of things work really well um, for for tint solutions. They're uh, God, I'm I'm losing my mind here. So uh, a lot of things work well for a tint solution. You can use a detergent. That's okay. Um, like Dawn is super popular amongst window tinters. It won't build up in your spray tank. And then uh, baby shampoo is really popular that will scuzz up your spray tank. If you're looking at like the more professional options, there are reasons to get them. Um, so something like Tint Slime Ultra is actually a really, really good one. I just don't have any right now. Um, and it has some additives that help it dry out faster and clean up quicker. So it's like, it's legitimately worth it. Um, but it's more convenient to like go pick up a soap from a dollar store sometimes, so. Yeah, the Sesame Street part is hilarious. I think there's another super chat. If there is, I'm gonna lose my mind. God, we're just like, <laughs> this is. Two seven, oh, okay, was that it? Two seventeen. 217 American. Okay, thanks Diamond. Make sure, make sure we're, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna leave this window over here. So I like, I have a good gauge on what's going on. Oh God, he did it again. RB uh, with another super, super chat. Uh, thanks, awesome videos. You're welcome. Don't lose that. Yeah, we really need to make a video on that. Do I have issues with felt on these ones? No, uh, these ones are rubber set seals um, or rubber seals. So you're not gonna have any felt issues on these, but just in general, like I don't like taping felt seals either. Mostly cause I didn't like the thickness of the tape getting in the way. Um, but I have since seen a couple things that were talked about that are really, really thin plastic um, that would probably work well. So we might look into that. Do any of you guys watch Linus Tech Tips? I'm curious, cause I saw his, uh, caught his video the other day. His, uh, he put out a video, um, a live stream video that was pretty heart wrenching. Like he's uh, a little overwhelmed with everything and not sure when he's gonna stop and thinking about retiring a little bit, but I don't know, it's just, just wondering if there's any Linus Tech Tip fans. It's, I've been watching that channel for a long time, so I totally can sympathize with like where he's coming from. Not to try and detract from like the subject, but. We are gonna individually shrink these. All right. Hi, I'm watching from Qatar. Welcome. Good to have you. Um, do you have issues? No, I read that one. Okay, enough tech talk. I do tint on the side. What are your thoughts on flex film? Dude, I could talk about tech for so long. Oh, but that was probably the RAM stuff. Um, thoughts on flex film? I don't, I don't fuck with the brand. I don't get along with them, so. That's, that's about all I have to say. Um, what can you use instead of the shank? Why would you want to? <laughs> um, I like these cause they're real, like they're inexpensive and they work really well and they're really compact, but basically anything that's the same shape. Um, you can go through like a hardware store and look for something. The problem is like they have, uh, a lot of the things are metal there. So I don't know. I don't have a good suggestion. There are like gasket wizards and stuff and other like pulling tools, but I don't know what they're called.
What up, Jaybird? Welcome. Jaybird says you're good at flushing. I flushed out a rack the other day. <laughs> nice. Yeah, personally, I don't think uh, hey, 24 hours after I tint, I get super tiny bubbles around the edges. How do I avoid that? So that's gonna be dirt. Um, you just, it's a lot of the time, it's the way you tuck in the film into the seals. It's like one of the number one questions. Want to know more why I didn't like flex film? Um, it's more personal issue with the company. I don't want to like go off on a tirade, but that's about all I'm gonna say about it for now. Um, they don't exactly have the greatest reputation, um, but just in general, <laughs> they uh, they cross some lines so. I just ignore them. I get asked about them a lot though. So I don't wanna just, I don't wanna draw more attention to the whole situation, so. All right, we are already cut the doors. We are going to be installing and I can address more of why um, you're getting speckles on the side. Is the tint off a of Tint Depot good quality? Yes, so they are pretty clear on their site too about, let me type that in. They're pretty clear on their site too um, about the uh, qualities of films that they have. They, what I would recommend is the, um, the, Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong site. Ah, shit. HTTP colon slash slash tint depot.com slash tint stuff. See, I'm talking over myself. Um, the superior charcoal and the lifetime warranty stuff, it's, an, it's a legitimate brand. Um, it's just <laughs> labeled tint, tint depot for tint depot's sake. So um, that's like... What I would recommend if you're looking for a serious film, um, but they do have like a five year and then the one year film is really for like practice and just getting something on your car if you want a really inexpensive option because it's it's a very consumer uh, facing website. So, but yeah, they, they carry great stuff. I have uh, the link that I put in the chat. That's my list of recommendations. They made a page for me on that site. So all the tools that I use, films that I recommend on that site, that's a good place to uh, go and check out what I'm using. Uh, superior charcoal, get that stuff. I mean, and when you, the thing is too about film is you might look at, like the, they do shorter sizes too, right? So you can get a 40 inch by like 50 feet. So you don't have to buy the full 100 foot roll. And so if like, if that's the issue, um, it's just like, hey, I don't have $1,000 to spend on good quality film. We'll just buy half size rolls and make that money back and some, and then you'll be way better off. That's the way I got into ceramic. I mean, as a roll of ceramic was like five, five, 600 bucks um, for like a 40, I think. I don't remember. It was expensive. No, 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 it was a 60. Um, but it was expensive, right? So when you're buying like five percentages of that, that's a lot of money to front in the beginning and then you're hoping that you get the sales back. Um, but if you talk to those companies, um, Tint Depot just has it already in their options. So you can buy half rolls. Um, Uh, so yeah, just, uh, like, I don't know if you're price conscious, cause, cause when you, when you break down film costs amongst a car, 
a lot of the times, like going from like a lifetime warranty dyed film to a lifetime warranty carbon is like a $5 difference for a car when you break it down amongst like, cause uh, like you're gonna get eight cars out of a 40 inch roll. Um, somebody is asking about Glass Aid in Canada. Um, I don't ship it there and we have a uh, production issue right now. So I'm working on getting more, but if Sun Distributing has any more, you can order it from them, they'll ship it to Canada. So sundistributingdirect.com, just search Glass Aid on Google or Sun Distributing and you'll find it. I dump it in chat, um, but I'm tinting. Harry Taylor, I can neither confirm nor deny that. <laughs> Uh, they do not want me to say, so, and I would, I would be so happy to say, but I can't, which is, which is stupid, but I love them, so I respect their wishes on that. Oh, I should, uh, explain. I can explain more in the next window. We got four of them. So the reason why you're having more dirt pop in on the sides. It's just the way that you're tucking it into the sides. So the idea is you wanna keep your edges flat as you slide them in to the sides, because the, uh, the more they crumple up here, um, it doesn't matter how many times you clean it, the more dirt's gonna fall out of the seals um, into the film. deadlift for your for snap shrinking um you're just curling it too much so it's kind of a a balancing act you get used to how much you have to curl it um but you can you can do it gradually until you get the find the sweet spot for it so you'll notice i curl it right here but when I lay it down, it'll lay smooth. If I had it really, really shrunk here, you, like you would describe, you'd be fighting with it. So you're just shrinking a little bit too much here. If you don't shrink it enough, you'll have little fingers. And then you could actually shrink out those fingers individually too after the fact. So you can kind of like go light on it and just progressively work up. Good question though. It's funny how the chat is like blowing up while I'm talking and then I swear I stop talking and, and then this chat like goes quiet and it's like, come on. <laughs> so I apologize if I missed some of your questions. There's a lot of them right now. Um, feel free to ask them again or if there's a lull, try and sneak them in when you can because there's just, there's a lot of questions right now. I'm not trying to ignore anybody ever. Uh, Matt, oh, in the words of Matt, Guari is the real winner. Yes, yes, they are. <laughs> There's a lot of brands made uh, with Guari. Um, I have a 2019 Ram. I tried to do it myself. Uh, I could not get the fingers at the bottom to seal and disappear. I ended up taking it to a professional and had the exact same issues as me. Okay, a professional should not have those issues. It's not the truck. It's the tinter. Um, so he might be a new one. <laughs> do i believe in heat rejection on ceramic film yes it's awesome the whole idea of heat rejection is it's it's a more comfortable driving experience it really is once you have it it's hard to like live without it because then like every other vehicle that i drive in in the summertime like if i ride in a friend's car um or whatever you notice that they don't have ceramic on their glass so the biggest advantage to it is it keeps the sun, like the heat off of your skin. You really notice it when you're driving around in the summertime. It's great. So big advocate for it. Really glad that there's some reasonably decent, like tangible upgrades to like a professional film other than just like quoting um, optical clarity or something. Mm. 
we had a couple of good questions there. I'm not trying to distract away from the truck, but is Walmart tents worth it? <laughs> um, in my opinion, no. The, uh, the, to be honest, when you break them down, like Walmart, you can order 20, 20 or you can just go in and buy a roll for like 10 bucks, right? So it's really about the convenience of having it. But if you were to break down that same price point amongst like a full roll, um, it's actually like very similar in price. And I don't know, the coloring, it was very blue. Noticeably cooler than most like professional films. But I just, I don't know. I, plus a lot of them only come in short rolls. If it's just something you're gonna do on like your own vehicle, um, and it's there, it's convenient, yeah, but it wasn't exactly the easiest film to work with for being a cheap film. Um, and there's just, the, the other thing to worry about is possible film failures. So, but if you're just like, hey, I wanna get some film, dick around with it, I don't really care, then yeah, go for it. So that's a good question. Somebody asked about the dot matrix border. Um, real, real common. Uh, so it looked good in the beginning because you had it filled with water, but as it dries out, the film does not stick to those ceramic dots. Um, one thing that you can do after the fact is warm up the glass along the border and then try and press it down. Um, that'll help, but overall, like there's, unless you can actually get to all the dots and sand them down so that they're flush with the glass, there's really nothing you can do about it. It's just a problem with, with window film in general. The adhesive isn't thick enough um, to fill in the air gaps in between. The dots are raised and lots of little, like it's a, it's a pretty abrupt change, even though it it's, doesn't look like much. But you can see like, for instance, how, uh, um, like what a speck of dirt does to window film. So imagine basically specks of dirt all along the edges. Um, that's kind of what a dot matrix pattern is uh, for window tint. God damn it, I forgot again. I was gonna describe more about tucking in the film to the sides. I've done it on some of my streams, but I forgot again. So we got two more chances to remember it for the sides. What up, Kyle? And my truck shut off. These Rams have a 20 minute timer like a lot of Chryslers, and there's no way you can hold the button to keep it on for longer, unfortunately. There we go. DMs are different though. Tropical shade. Super Chan, five dollars, oh my god. Another one. Thank you, thank you so much, that's awesome. I don't think there was a question attached to that one, just five bucks, dude, that's super cool of you. I really appreciate it. And there was a question that was asked right before that that I was about to answer and I totally forgot what it was. But I forgot for a good reason, so. <laughs> Two more chances to forget, yes. But we'll have more, more live stream. It, like, I default, like, a lot of what I do is just, like, muscle memory. And you just kind of float through all the steps. <laughs> but you don't actually, you're not really thinking about it very much. And then before you know it, you're like, oh, shit, I forgot that one thing. That's the question. Do I ever do commercial tinting? There we go. 
Uh, no, not usually. Uh, actually, no, not not like ever. So the uh, commercial and residential is a great great category to get into. Um, I have not worked with anybody that has gotten into it. So I've always stuck to automotive. Um, using an app like, uh, like TintWiz is something that can help you out tremendously with flat glass. Um, if you guys are interested, I would highly recommend you hit them up and ask them for help because they will be more than willing to give you any advice um, that, that you could possibly need. So the owner of TintWiz actually built a flat glass company and didn't know how to tint. Like that's, that's um, where he originated from. Um, that's how he got in like the film industry. He saw flat glass, um, basically hired a window tinter to do the work and he was the company guy that got everything up and running and smooth and built TintWiz pretty much for architectural. Really, really cool story. So if you guys are interested in, in like finding out more about architectural and like ways to get into it, um, check out TintWiz, hit them up. They have a super nifty little chat bubble and support. They, they're helping out everybody they can. It's really cool. Uh, whoa, what's going on? Did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Hang on. Diamond with $5. Holy shit. Okay, so drop Nick with a $3 super chat. Big fan of you, bro. Much love. Oh, okay. Now we answered these ones. These ones are good. I don't think I missed anything. I thought I did for a second, but I don't think I... My bank... <laughs> Kieran. Kieran says my bank still won't let me use Super Chat. Guess I'll have to call them tomorrow. Bro, that's fucking great. You don't even need to Super Chat. That comment is just gold. Oh, man. <laughs> I love you, man. Uh, Terry, Terry says with a $2 super chat, super chat wars begin. I don't know if I missed anything, but if I did, I don't know. I got these ones here. Okay. So if, if, if I've missed anybody's super chats, just let me know. Um, Jaybird asked a good question. He said, uh, how do you take off those? headrests that are bolted in the F-250s. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, so on the F-250s, um, the seats are clipped in. Um, it's like this special edition, well, the unique edition Ford F-250. So the back seats are clipped in. The headrests are literally bolted to the back. There's like, there's this metal rod that goes along the back end and you have to like shovel a, a rod in the back and unclip it and then you can pull the seat out just this part of the seat and then you can unbolt the headrest that's the way to do it i only know that because i saw a tech have to do it and it was a huge pain in the ass what the fuck tropical oh all right there's something there's something weird going on with my uh my youtube chat thing so I'm pretty sure it's not registering all of them in the YouTube live window itself. That's where I'm trying to keep track of them right now. So I'm pretty sure I missed the one before. So we have Terry. I'm scrolling up till I get the other ones. Tropical Shade with a $5. I called that one out. And then we have Terry with a $2. Super Chat Wars Begin. So that was new. Okay. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. Uh, and then Daniel Reyna with a $10 Super Chat. Uh... Thank you. Dude, como esta, po? Uh, uh, I'm good. I'm doing good. Hope you're doing well, too. Hope you're installing mad ceramic film today again. Um, da, 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 da. Did I miss Dina Reina? Maguna. I got to have my wife translate for that, Daniel Reina. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, 
Let's see. Oh God, I'm just, I'm just looking through this. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, the F-250 work trucks, I don't think they come off. Yeah, they do, they do, they're just a pain. Um, but they're like, those F-250s are very different from the rest of the other types of vehicles that are around, um, from the other F-150s. So the F-150s, they'll fold down like this. They had a generation um, where they didn't, and you nearly broke these buttons trying to take them out, which reminds me, I'm gonna have a fun time taking these ones out, so. Yeah, those things suck. Uh, the film I'm using right now is just Avery Dennison NR. Um, I was using Helios for ceramic, but I haven't installed ceramic in quite a while, so I just don't really use much yet. Um, when we get the garage going, um, I will be pulling in something for that. So, we will, we will discuss that when it, when I have something. Solomon super chatted two US dollars. Dude, thank you. That's all you guys. Dude, like, <laughs> just fucking like, come on. Mad super chats again today. Like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still, Pretty speechless with all this. It's like mad support going on. That's awesome. Thank you. I mean, I'm just doing another Dodge Ram. I've I've tinted like three or four of these now on stream, and it's just you guys are awesome. Thank you. Oh, so that uh, so I I'm buying uh oh. Uh, that I, I helped him build his father's window tint business. Dude, come on. That's fucking cool. That's, that right there is like, um, that that's my mission with, with the live streams. I wanna legitimately, like, cause, cause when I make a video about a topic, um, they've largely been about how to tint and those are really, really helpful. Uh, but there's so many of them out there right now and I still want to put more out don't get me wrong But these live streams are just a, a completely different type of, of thing a way to get different types of questions answered that you normally wouldn't um, and see Particular things and situations that you wouldn't normally see in a video like that. So really really excited um, for these and um, my mission, like, for this year is, like, I want the best tinting stream, even though we probably have it already, <laughs> but, like, just improve it any way that I can and give time for more questions and stuff so it's not so hectic, um, you know, before and afterwards a little bit, and then, um, really give it, like, basically block off a good two and a half to three hours of space for like an entire live stream. Um, that's my, that's one of my goals because if you're learning how to tint, if you're trying to start a business, if you're interested in film at all, like these need to be as, I'm trying to make these as beneficial as possible. So the, uh, the donations 100% are going towards stuff for that. So I have like a cam link by Elgato that I have to pick up so I can use a, a third camera. Um, there's some flooring that I wanted to get for the garage um, that really just helps aesthetics with the whole thing and helps it look more professional. Um, so I'm just, I'm really excited for everything that's going on, you know, between lighting, just set, things that I need to set up the garage. Like I'm easily investing another probably 1500 to two grand um, into the garage just to try and make it that much better. Um, yeah, we got some fun stuff coming. It'll be cool. I am from the Detroit, Michigan area. The Motor City. And to be honest, I'm not as interested in cars as I used to be. 
There we go. Let's do that. God damn it, we did it again. If I can get this window done and forgot to do my explanation. All right, you guys are distracting me. <laughs> So we are going to be talking about dirt on the sides for that drivers. We need to discuss dirt specs. How much do you, how much VLT do you now windows carry? Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. I could legitimately show you on this truck. That's a good illustration. Unfortunately, the back is tinted, so I can't show you non-tinted back ones. Um, last stream must have paid for a full shop. <laughs> Kieran, I don't know if you were here, but it was 165 in donations. It was insane. Uh, Shout out to Isabella in behalf of Tin Stuff. Oh, cool. Isabella, is that your uh, is that your trainee? That's cool. Um, thank you, Matt. You ins oh Gerson Gerson. Um, you inspired me to build my father's window tin business. That that's just so cool. Uh, Karen used NR for the first time yesterday. It's a bit sticky. Yes, it is. Tropical, did I miss? I hope I didn't, no, I didn't miss those. Okay, so let's do a temp meter real quick. Um, no, you're awesome, Jesus. Okay, so we're gonna put this down here so we can roll this window a little bit and give us some proper space. So I highly recommend everybody get a tent meter. This is a tent check meter. This was like 80 bucks. It was given to me a while ago and I kind of laughed at these, um, but they have been an invaluable tool for just putting the customer's mind at ease. When you look at a, a vehicle and you're like, hey, what shade is that? This will definitively tell you what percentage that you have on the glass within, you know, one or 2%, right? So we turn it on, it says 100%, so we have nothing in between. And then we put this over the glass and it's 78%. There is nothing on this glass that is factory clear glass, 79, 80. So we're right in there. We're basically at 80%. So when we put, what's interesting is when you, when you take like, this is 35, right? What's a, what are we meeting at with Avery? 34, 35, right, right, spot on. Good job, Avery. Um, when we put this actually on top of the glass together, um, that number is going to change. It's not gonna be 35. We are sitting at 29. So that's a good illustration um, of what to expect. So realistically, when a customer comes in and asks you for 35, you're giving them a little bit darker of a percentage. So those of you that really have to pay attention to your state laws should have tint meters to verify that you're actually putting a smidge above whatever um, you're telling the customer um, because they're gonna get pulled over, cop's gonna put a meter on their window and they're gonna get in trouble and they're gonna be mad. They're gonna be mad. Um, here in Michigan, it's pretty much all or nothing though. So you can go as, uh, you can go as dark as you want in the back. You can go nothing on the front unless you have a doctor's note and same thing for the windshield. So cops around here don't, don't carry tint meters. And so it's something that I kind of forget from time to time, but I know it's really, really, um, important in some other states that have actual percentages and not just like yes and no's. I need to cover up this Velcro. It notoriously sticks to everything. I think I'm just gonna take it off. Uh, 
Uh, he says, um, restacking tent and trying to get as close as possible to legal. Yeah, so if you're like your state law says 30, um, go for like a 35. But sometimes they can be, they can be tricky. So. What is, uh, what is the best type of tank? Um, I'm a big fan of the tent kegs. Um, th they're like, there's a couple, there's tent Hozilla, there's tent kegs, and there's some other guys selling tanks too as well. They're pretty much all the same tanks. Um, it comes down to like the branding and then some of them pay a little bit more attention to the hoses and the fittings. So the, I have, I have, um, the uh, brass end, but I have a swivel here, so I can spin this all the way around. And then we, um, Tank Keg, put the effort into doing a double swivel here. So this part swivels, and then this part swivels too. So it just gives you two points that the hose isn't gonna hopefully tangle up as much. And then they also have since changed out the hoses for something um, a little bit more durable. Um, I really like the bright green Flexilla hoses, and I had those featured in a video along with their like swivel sprayer. Um, but we have come to find out that anything actually made for airlines isn't quite the same as, as working with slip solution. So the um, aluminum will rust or corrode. Um, so make sure you have brass fittings or stainless steel. And then the other thing is uh i'm losing my train of thought now um the hoses the hoses started to expand um not sure why i guess it's just compressing liquid versus trying to like even though liquid doesn't really compress um putting 90 psi over a period of time in those flexilla hoses i think they're just kinking or something um but it caused them to start to swell and i noticed that after a year so these ones should be better, um, but I'm probably in like the first six months of using it. Six, probably eight, six to eight months. Just something to keep in mind. Oh no, I'm like 80% sure my laptop is now turned off. <laughs> At the worst time, hmm, decisions. Okay, sit tight, sit tight window. Oh no, it didn't turn off. Okay, cool. But we do have to plug this in right quick. All right, we got a little bit of battery. We're going to, uh, we're gonna do this. Oh no shit, did I get that question wrong? He asked what, what is the best pump sprayer if not using a tank? Okay, well I just went into a rant about tanks. And then I also forgot to talk about tucking this shit into the sides. Um, I can show you a little bit though. So if I pull this back, I don't like doing this, but for illustration, when I'm going to tuck this into the side, I roll up just the tint here, the liner is laid flat, and then I, it's all gotta be flat here. And then we coast it into the seal. And that's how you keep dirt from like really piling up on the side, so. Again, a pretty lackluster explanation, um, unfortunately, but you know, <laughs> we tried. So for the pump sprayer, um, I really like the Poly 2s um, or the, uh, I don't know, there's like the Junior sprayers that I featured in, um, in my video. So if you go to tintdepot.com slash tintstuff, um, you'll see like both of those sprayers. No, I did feature a Poly 2. Yeah, I used the Poly 2s for a long time. I really like those. They do break down if you use them a lot, though. I mean, we were pretty rough on them, though. Because we were tanning like five, six cars a day with those little Poly 2s. How do I combat dirt? I take my knife and I stab it. That's how I combat it. Um, it's really just about sweeping everything to the sides and knowing your, uh, like refining your technique down. So we'll talk a little bit about it as we go to tuck this in. Um, like I said with the back, we need this to be um, flat and you're kind of, you're kind of just coasting it. You're not giving the dirt a chance to like 
fall back into the tent. Because if I if it's all crumpled up, that'll make the dirt just feed back in, even though you've cleaned it a bunch of times. There's always like little particles sitting there. So you just wanna pull back the seal a little bit and then just like sweep it in. I have a tucking window film video too that is really helpful um, for learning this concept here. Just shoop. What flooring am I going with? Ooh, he brought up Swiss tracks. Yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna go with the other option just because I can save money that way. Uh, race, race deck. There's like two, there's like Swiss tracks and race deck. I've been looking at both of those. Um, Swiss tracks kind of looks like the better option. Um, but they're definitely like really expensive and I'm like, I don't know, I don't have any drainage in the garage and it's nothing f fancy or anything. So we'll probably just go with the race deck to make it look nice. Um, and then I'm, I'm curious to see if that like really starts to pile up and scum up or something with soapy water sprayed all over it all the time. So we'll find out. But the, uh, the type that I wanna get is uh, the, the cool looking ventilated stuff to help it dry out too. So I've heard good things. It looks fucking killer. I wanna get like a bright green. A bright green and like a black or a gray. That would look sweet. It'll completely transform the garage though. That's really why I wanna get it. Like th that makes uh, like a little, or like a two car garage look professional in my opinion. You get some good lighting, you get a nice floor in there. It'll completely change the impression that you leave on people. Kind of like I did with the apartment garage, even though I needed to paint a little bit more of it. Um, it's like, you just, you start to change perception a little bit. Like the floors kind of look like this now. They're not, they're not pretty. So the more I can detract away from the ugliness, that is the goal. It'll be cool. I'm excited. Okay, so the doors are done. We have some good, good talks during that. Now we have to do the back glass. What's my favorite? Um, what's my favorite vehicle to tint? Hmm, probably those are pretty good. Um, Malibu's, the real simple. Um, the Tauruses, like the newest, latest body style is always fun to get. And the actually the brand new Malibu's are even better than, than that version. So, really, really, Loose seals, flat windows, and a good time all around. I just like easy cars. A tropical shade says somebody needs to come up with a new tint challenge. The blindfold tint challenge was funny as hell. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure YouTube kind of nerfed that video because I named it. Uh, the bird box challenge. They they were restricting a lot of those videos because it kind of went out of control, made the news. Um, but it did wonders for their marketing for that video. Here's my keys. Okay, so we need to take out the headrests. Now these ones are a little bit different than some. Let's grab a light so you guys can see better. See, this is where I need a tint light now. So I might be taking a tint light around with me. I don't really need one for tinting, but like to actually light up this whole back um, would probably be pretty helpful for you guys so you could see it better. So, I don't know, that's not working too bad. What's the hardest vehicle? Uh, I don't know, probably something along the lines of like uh, Beretta, Beretta really sucked, or classic cars, those really suck. So for these headrests, in case you guys don't know, they don't really have the little pegs, um, like the little holes or push buttons here. They do have what looks like a button here, if you can see it, but it's not quite. You need to press, there's this little point in the center that you have to like push, like a button, but it's like super annoying. And some of these stick really bad. And so you have to like, push one side down, hold it up, push the other side in, and then yank the whole thing up. So 
That one went easy. I've had some that just suck. So let's go ahead and do this one. And then we will cut out the, uh, this on the inside. Does this even, yeah, see, this is why I need a good old, good old tent light here. It's flexible, but you can't really get it to stick on anywhere on the inside. All right. Oh yeah, mirror tent. Um, in Michigan state law is nothing reflective, pretty much like 35% reflectivity is actually the law. Ah, man. I don't even know if that has to do with the doctor's note, but nobody really gets reflective anymore. So most of the main manufacturers don't do anything for that. Um, they've discontinued a lot of their reflective lines. Daniel Reina coming in strong again with a $5 super chat. Thank you. You know, it's really unique, in my opinion. Did I miss this? Did I miss Solomon's super chat? I hope not. Thank you, Solomon. If I did, no, I think I said it, but in case I didn't, thank you. Um, but Dan Arena, thank you for Kieran. <laughs> oh, that's super nice of you. Dan Arena super chatting for Kieran. That's great. That's, that's true sportsmanship right there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have to uh, uh, tint this back window. We're, best plan of action for me is to cut it out on the inside. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so 35, we need to put this back here. And then we're gonna put 20, because we did 20 over 20 on these. So this is technically 5%. And then, we're gonna do 20 in the back, which makes sense. You know, I got an idea for this light. Let's try this. Maybe right under here, and then we'll turn that on. Hopefully that'll just brighten it up a little bit for you guys. That'll work. That's not too bad. And let's get our sprayer wherever we put that. We need two tank kegs. We need one on each side. So I don't move it around the truck and like lose where I put the hose. Because I always do that. I like leave a heat gun. We need a heat gun on each side. We need a hose on each side. So we're not running all over the damn place. So the way I like to do these is like a rough cut um, out like a piece that's big enough to fit it. And then we'll just like layer it in and then cut it out on the inside. So we all pretty much guesstimates here. Jeremy says meter the back door window. I will do that. Um, Try and remind me if I look like I'm forgetting uh, at the end of the stream. I'll do that right after uh, this. we do this back window. And then we can do uh, officially see 20 over 20. So we kind of guesstimate and we're gonna hack some off and cross our fingers that we don't screw this up. So, we have to peel this and then we're gonna put it on the inside. But we should clean it first. And then we're gonna peel it. <laughs> Mike says uh, Dana Reyna now factors the cost of the super chats into 
into the cost of his jobs now. It's like, ah oh, shit, on Tuesdays this is gonna cost me 30 bucks extra. <laughs> because this kid keeps going online and streaming. Oh wow, that was a really nice message. Thank you. Um, that deserves me to read it back. But I heard ya. Something about being an inspiration. This, that's really, really nice. I will, I wanna catch that message. But we're right in the middle of this. Okay. So, you pretty much just get it in position. And I like to bring it a little bit lower um, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this top edge. And I've noticed on some of mine, I've had like little gaps if I cut it exact and I don't do anything about it. Um, and I really didn't think there was much you could do. I thought it always had a little gap, but if you actually just cut it and then you shift it up, that gap goes away entirely. And then squeegee it in place. I have let some of them go like that. I haven't had questions about it either, but like, there's only so much I can do in a day and sometimes I make mistakes too. But you work on finding a better way over time. Sometimes it's what I, what I end up doing. So we're getting this close. Yeah, I can take the clear. I, I, I hear you on that. Um, I just don't really, I don't want to cut out. I don't want to like, for, for using the clear and using that as a template, the only thing that I don't like about that is like, if I'm in a situation like what I am now and I don't have a board to cut on, I don't want to cut out a full pattern on the vehicle itself. Um, I'll cut little corners and stuff, but I don't want to trace a full thing on another window. So if I had another surface, I'd, I'd, I'd be more likely to do it. But I have just pretty much taught myself how to do this. So I don't know. It turned out pretty good for me. But yeah, taking like this and making your templates, that's also a very smart idea. <sighs> Let's see, what was it? Whoa, there was a super chat. Oh, set auto care, five, five Canadian. Thank you, brother. Thanks for all the videos and tips. We uploaded our first video of the year uh, on our YouTube channel. Uh, you're an inspiration. Dude, that's awesome. And starting a YouTube channel. Congrats, man. Uh, it's a lot of hard work. Keep it up. Uh, tropical shade on a car that has a full perforated back uh, window vinyl decal wrap. How would you go about cutting and shrinking on the outside? Oh my God. I'm thinking here. I don't have a good answer for you. I'd probably just try it and see how it goes, but I, I've never actually, in my career so far, I've never had anybody actually ask about that. Because if they're perforated, they're usually just happy with the, the visibility already. But, you, so you have a perforated vinyl on the outside, and you have to, I don't know, you just try it and maybe charge. I don't know, but like, I, I think it's worth the, worth maybe just trying it out and seeing if it works. And if it doesn't, then you just, uh, I, I'd probably say, sorry, dude, we have to take it off or I don't have that piece of glass to shrink it on. It's just not gonna turn out right. No and hold them. Dana Reyna. Dana Reyna with another for Kieran. <laughs> oh, with a $3 super chat. Thank you so much. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you, Daniel. And I love it. I love the for Kieran. It's like a, it's like a, it's almost like a fallen, fallen soldier type of thing. For Kieran. <laughs> Dude, that's great. I need, I, uh, there's, so there's this one Twitch streamer that I watch. He's got like a hall of fame for donators and stuff like that. But Twitch has like a description 
um, like a channel description uh, for for the channel um, right there. So you have your live streaming window, and then you have your own stuff underneath it that stays the same. Um, and I wish there was something like that for for YouTube. I mean, I guess I could put the the super chats in the video description, but I, I want to like immortalize it better than that. Like basically, like a supporters. Uh, post or section or something and I, I have no idea how I would do that something that would like stay so we got some pretty stuck adhesive if this doesn't take it off we're gonna have to get a scrubby because I'm not gonna get a razor for this Let me get a scrub pad. So let's grab this dealy. And then we should be good. The greetings from Poland. Welcome. Glad you can make it. We're doing a Dodge Ram truck. We've done a couple of them. They're super popular here. And I'm pretty sure they have a uh, special going on right now so there's probably going to be a couple a couple more in the future here so I don't want to ruin his defrosters so we're using a white scrub pad instead it's a good way to get adhesive off if it's just a little bit other than that I'd be using like a adhesive remover too Cool. So let's get set up. We're gonna do the same thing here. Let's put this here. That's not bad. That helps light it up a little bit. Roll out some film. Cut it right about here. That looks like she'll do it. Now we're going to clean it off. Yes, you can uh, do on most trucks. You can do 20, 20 on the back of factory. Um, like if you take 20% of 20%, it's like 4%. It's right in that range. It looks really, really close um, in my experience. What are my final thoughts on Lexan? Um, for the little time that I used it, um, it was good. I haven't had the chance yet to put it through that longevity test. Well, that's not entirely true, I just haven't. Um, but I have other stuff. But with a house, um, I have a basement. And so I, what I'm hoping to do is just leave it cooking in the basement. Like meth. <laughs> And then, uh, and then once we do that, we'll know. We'll put some other films on the uh, on the heat lamp, basically, and longevity test them in a direct comparison. 
So we'll kind of uh, we'll kind of get a good idea of how it compares to other films rather than know exactly how long it's going to last. Plus, it's just relevant to that test, really. So. shift it up just a smidge because they like somebody asked about percentages um so we talked about it a little bit earlier if your state law says like 30 percent on the front which is which is florida's state law um and you put 30 percent on the glass it's actually going to meter a little bit darker so you'd want to do something like 35 actually um but it really depends too on um the cops <laughs> like it they're not gonna i'm not saying they're gonna give you an illegal ticket uh for something that's legal but like generally speaking if you if you have something like if you're within a particular range and you blend in then they're really not as likely to check but i cannot guarantee that they won't dana reyna with a $4 super chat again, dude. Thank you. For Karen dot hurrah. We're gonna have to make a t-shirt then, right? <laughs> it's so great though. For Karen. The fallen, the fallen bank account. <laughs> That's great. All right. So these, um, I don't do anything crazy for these. We just gotta make squares. Tropical, Tropical Shade asks about a film that's safe for Plexi. Um, from what I've heard, you have to put something like blister blister free solar guard makes it it's a um it's a clear film that will go over the plexi and then will allow tint to stick to it so you have to have something basically as like a, a layer that makes it uh similar to glass essentially is, is what it's doing um like it's not going to change the rigidity of the, of the plexi but it's going to allow the the film to stick without it bubbling up or anything like that so I've heard of blister free. There's probably a couple options, but you would have to tint it with with a clear layer of blister free and then put the tint on top of that. I don't know of any tinted films uh, that will stick directly to Plexi. I've done it on a Fiat and then the Fiat looked like garbage, but we told the customer that that would probably happen and it did. <laughs> the whole roof looked like garbage after a month. The, uh, the roofs of Fiat 500s are like plexiglass too, or just like weird. Daniel Reyna. They have a, maybe they have a joint bank account now. <laughs> That's super nice though. Like he's not even trying to get his own money. It's like, it's support of another super chatter. Like that's super cool. That's not something I, I would have predicted to be honest i thought if super chats were anything they would always be questions but they're really just been i think the majority have just been for support and that's that's just an incredible thing okay you know i don't have what is what way this is the tent way so Um, a lot of tool places have that tape, that the heat tape that you wrap around your heat gun. Um, uh, if Tint Depot doesn't have it, check with like 44 tools. They'll have it. Sun Distributing has it. Um, most people that carry Fusion stuff will also have like pretty much their whole catalog. Or probably Amazon has has their own version too.
Okay, so we're gonna do this. So I don't usually do this in particular, but I have been trying to make my lines a little straighter on the inside because um, some of them have been pretty wonky looking. And you don't see it on the inside until you like pull the car outside and open the doors and look close. And it's been brought to my attention. Um, so we're just trying to keep a cleaner, straighter line here. I haven't... I haven't actually had a customer complain, but I have like, it's been one of those things that have just been talked about. Uh, so the blade out is really only about this much. So we have this surface tinted already, so it's really just shallow. I could put out this much blade and make the same cut. It's just gonna hit that, so. Um, I try to keep out just about that much for most cuts though. Um, the tape for the heat gun, all it does is uh, keep you from burning yourself, at least a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Canada shipping sucks. Yeah, it's, it's just expensive. That's one reason why I haven't looked too much into international is because, like, we're it's unless you're like a decent sized company um like a big company i've heard it's hard to get good shipping prices to like other places so usps like for example if i'm sending a box around the world usps is going to charge me like 250 bucks and it's like good god So we're just making all these flat. How do we? Aw. How do we donate for your awesome live streams, dude? Thank you. Um, that's a just super nice uh, inquiry. Um, so on YouTube, Maybe I'll put a direct donation link on Facebook, but it's a YouTube specific feature. So if you if you are on the YouTube channel watching this anyways, there's a super chat option. It's a little money sign text thing. It just allows you to post like a more noticeable message. So if you have like an important question or just want to say something nice or donate, that's the best way to do it. I don't have a direct donation link set up. Um, I don't know. It's something I might add, but I, I really didn't feel like it was detracting to try and explain it. So I just haven't, but I really appreciate that. Thank you. Just even the message alone is, is really, really encouraging. Okay. So we have this. Somebody's donating for Daniel. I really like getting people to super chat for other people. <laughs> like, if that's the case, that would be hilarious and awesome. Like, really nice of, like, supporting other people that have supported the thing. <laughs> that's awesome concept there. Okay, so we got this little bugger to cut out. Um, I, I should have cut this a little bit shorter, honestly, but... There we go. But it's something that I really haven't done much. I was just trying to keep these lines a little bit straighter. So. I've gotten away plenty of times with making them not the straightest. It, just as long as your edges are covered, they're usually good enough. But we can also try, we can always try and improve, especially when we have a little bit of time. So I'm pretty sure the next one's at like 1.30. I will check the computer in a second. We're pretty much done here. We gotta like heat a couple of things out. So if you notice, I didn't actually shrink these. Um, David says I was on Facebook and popped up. Oh yeah, yeah, I multi-stream. I stream to both at the same time. It's just a way to put it out to multiple places. Um, I was focusing on YouTube 
and that still is always my primary focus. But all the discussions happen on Facebook and with the support of the sponsors, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, let's broaden out a little bit past just my channel now. Um, thanks to their, their support. And you guys too now. Like, holy shit, this is awesome. What do we got? Daniel will donate for you. This is... Asian duties and taxes is a killer. Yeah. Yeah, international shipping is a killer. Amazon kind of... Make, gives everybody different expectations with shipping too, but like there's there's so much that goes on behind the scenes as an Amazon seller, like you have fees with Amazon, um, they still require, like if it's not fulfilled by Amazon, you still have to pay for shipping and it basically might cost you money for two day shipping. Um, they basically strung arm you into doing certain things on Amazon and it's given a lot of, it's given the whole world different expectations on shipping. But for like tint tools, especially like the reason you don't find them on Amazon um, is because the margins are horrible on tools in general. So it's more of like a passion project thing. And then China comes and rips off things. And, but that's the market. The market's competitive. And you can't tell people what to do. People are gonna do what people do. So just figure out the best game plan that you can. That's why I didn't open a pool business. <laughs> Not really. I have my own little glass aid, but it's small. Small thingy. So if we have a finger that pops up, we might. We had a couple little ones at the top edge. Um, it's just like water and you have to dry it out a little bit. You can see those pop up. Jeremy says meter the back window. Oh, good timing. Really, really good timing. Let's uh, let's not get distracted. Focus on that one thing and let's make it happen. Oh, what's this? No, kidding. <laughs> See, I can get to stuff with the proper reminders. Okay, so we have a tent meter and we metered the front. And oh my God, we're gonna roll down the back. What the heck? You're not supposed to do that for like four days. Let me, these seals are a little goofy. Let me just make sure this is down before we do this immediately. There we go. There we go. That used to freak me out as an installer. I used to be very adamant about not rolling the windows down. And then I tinted my own windows and then I rolled them down. <laughs> So, okay, let's go a little bit farther. So we have a hundred here. Let's put this on. What do we got? 3%. It's technically 3% with the meter. When you get down that low, you can be a little skewed too, but I mean, that's what it says. So that's what it says. Um, so we put 20 over factory. Um, if you were looking at them side by side, they're super, super close. Um, I know because I've done it. Um, so you could tell customers that it'll be anywhere from five to 3%, um, depending on the film that you're installing. I mean, realistically, I should meet, I guess we should meet her the, we didn't meet her the five though. So let's meet her the five and see where the five turns up and see if Avery's actually five or if it's a little bit different. They're usually within one, one to 2% of what they actually advertise. Some of them are farther off, believe it or not. So they tell you that for marketing. What do we got here? Yeah, see my 20 is 17 actually. So if you can see that, that makes perfect sense. They're putting 17 over factory, dropped it down to three. So we're technically a little bit darker. My 20 is not 20. My 20 is 17. So when I match truck windows with a 17%, it's gonna be a little bit darker, but not all trucks are 
20. Some are a little bit lighter, some are a little bit darker. But the coloring's good. I think the coloring is one of the most important things. It's like second to the actual shade. If it looks similar enough, nobody's gonna notice. But they'll notice if they watch the live streams. <laughs> It's uh, it's 12.30 here right now, actually. I think the next one's at like 1, 1.30? No, 12.30 actually. Oh yeah, we're supposed to have another appointment now. If a customer asks for 0%, if your customer asks for 0%, they probably don't know what they're really asking for. Um, I would show them Tim says just paint them black, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I would uh, show them what five looks like and see if they like it. And if they want two layers of film, then okay. They're pretty much, pretty much blacking out everything. But just in general, like, I don't know, show them and see what they actually want to do. I think we need a heat gun for this. We're like button up right on this edge. That's what I don't like about these. Let's do that. Let's shrinky. Okay, so let's put the meter back. And then we're gonna grab the heat gun. Should we have to change that? I should have checked the time on the stream. My GoPro might be dead almost. So this metal edge, you usually can sneak it under, but it is a like a hard metal edge that's real, real close to the glass. So not surprised that it's button up right here. So you can just heat it out. Let's get a gun close to it and shoot it. There we go. That should be good. Let's get stuff out of the way. And we're pretty much done. Right? Just wipe her down. Uh, set, I'm using the GoPro 8. The 7 and the 8 can both live stream. The 7 streams in 720p, and the 8 streams in 720p and 1080p. Um, the sensor that they use uh, is the same. So the image quality between the two are identical. It's just a you get a little resolution bump on the 8. And I... I don't think it's really noticeable. I've compared them. Like, so my first live streams were with the seven and then I returned it because the eight came out. So if you wanna see an early comparison between the two, just look at my first live streams with uh, starting with the uh, BMW and then an Audi. And then after October, no, after I came back in uh, December, we started streaming with the eight if you're interested in streaming. Uh, is the Wagner gun good? Yeah, actually. it's It feels really light and kind of like a toy. So if you use like a beefier heat gun, like the, uh, um, what am I thinking of? The Porter cables are really good for a little bit more money. Um, but those are 20 bucks and they work great, so. So, good. Okay. Yeah. 
And then you got another set of two front doors, your 130 yard here also. Oh, wow. And then you guys got the center. So I cool. think what I want to do is bring your two front doors right here, have you knock it out with the mountain, and then bring this in. Okay. Yeah, sure, man. We're pretty much at the end, so I'll close this up and then get those things done. Will you pull that one for me? Yes, I can. Alrighty. Yep, you're welcome. Let me, just give me one second. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, like he said, um, that was the owner. He's super nice with letting me uh, live stream all of this here. He's actually been really supportive, which is great. So, um, I have a couple sets of doors that I have to do. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up today. Um, but yeah, we did 35 in the front, uh, 20 over 20, which gave us a end result of the meter said 3%. So it looks really good, turned out really nice. Um, hope you all enjoyed this stream. Um, we get like a couple last minute questions in real quick and then I gotta go, cause I got more work to do. Um, Daniel says, uh, buy Snap-on tools, 100 bucks. The HV good airflow that moves the film with more film faster. Oh, okay, they're, they're heat gun probably. Um, set auto says I use the GoPro set or Daniel says I'm using the GoPro seven myself. Yep. That's a good one. Uh, set says, Oh, I might try using the GoPro seven for now. Yeah. Yeah. It, it works great. They didn't upgrade the sensor at all. Um, which was actually really disappointing. So just do a comparison between the sevens and eight footage. They'll tell you they basically look identical. There's no sensor change. Just like software features is all it is. I could go on and on about it, honestly. Um, when a customer really wants zero percent, I put the blackout film, much better choice. <laughs> Damn. I would never want my windows that black, but some people are just nuts. Sweet, just need a couple of jobs just to get one. Cool, nice, man. Alrighty. Alrighty, man, or everybody. <laughs> One more question, good question. Uh, how long do I use the scrub pad before changing it? Usually it gets swapped out. Um, these white ones, like I'll flip them over. Um, I just use them until they're really flat. So it, it's probably maybe a couple weeks at a time before I change one out. Um, I'm really not tinning uh, more than like three days a week right now though. So, okie dokie. Um, we are definitely wrapping it up now. So. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you to all the Super Chats. This was a really, really cool day today again. Um, let me just run through them. Terry, A, it's Richie, Diamond, Drop Nick, RB, Tropical Shade, Daniel Reyna, uh, Solomon, uh, Daniel, Set, Daniel, um, and uh, Terry again. There was just like a lot of repeats and stuff. So. Thank you guys so much um, for, for supporting the stream. The next live stream should be on Tuesday like normal. Um, that's what I'm shooting for. So um, I will see you then. Hit notifications. You never know what it's going to be. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.